Hi guys, so right, today I'm gonna to be attempting to build PP3D. Now, I have attempted PP3D before, and I had many, I had like, it was like pushing 10 minutes of footage of me going, right, I've tried this, I'm gonna try another version. Right, I've tried this, I'm gonna try another version. Eventually it got to this stage. Ooh. simultaneously didn't work like PP3D or look like PP3D, so I gave up for it for a bit. But then uh, came up with a bit of a brainwave, even if I say so myself. You've got the tombstone here, again, same as we used for uh, Megabyte, and uh, using this little bit again, and my good friend Alex and his 3D printing, thank you very much. Um, he has printed me this awesome PP3D blade, which should fit in there, and if you can have a look there, orange dose over juice. Let's see if I can get it to focus there, hang on a sec. Nope. There we go, orange dose overjuice on the thing, like the little etching because it was crowdfunded, blah, blah, blah. Very cool. So I'm going to invert this, chuck this underneath, uh, sort of aim to remove the wheels and then kind of extend the axles outwards, hoping it'll still have enough oomph to move around. It should do, it should be fine. Um, obviously take the blade and the framework of the front bit of tombstone off. Um, and then, yeah, as long as it can sit happy and slide around, do what it needs to do, then it should just be an aesthetic thing, building up the shell, painting it nice colours, etc. Um, so yeah, that's the plan, let's see how it goes. So I've painted the disc with this really nice dark metallic paint, which has given it, uh, the light doesn't really show, but it's got this really nice sort of dark steel kind of look to it. I've also painted the inside of the wheels, because uh, that's where they'll be. The tyres are going to have to be a bit off just size-wise. Um, they're kind of like chunky looking tyres, I was hoping to use some smaller ones, but... Uh, I don't think they're going to be too shallow, not good enough room for the disc. And I've put these, uh, again these are Lego wheels, uh, just to sort of extend uh, the thing out so then we can put the other wheels on the end, have the disc underneath and then yeah, start building the body up around it. Okay, like I say, the tyres, a bit beefier than I'd hoped, but um, necessary to keep the disc sort of clear of the floor. And it is just sort of sitting just shy, so that works out quite well. Um, in the end, I didn't go with the ones I painted, I just sort of slotted them on it's partially onto the thing, so it still clears the disc, um, but it isn't actually too wide in the end. I've also cut down the uh, sort of body of tombstone a little bit. Um, doesn't matter that it's messy because again, it's all going to be hidden. Uh, so the main thing now is to provide an actual decent support so that the disc can sit nice and flush to the ground and it can uh, move around. Then again, it's a case of just building up some sexy bodywork around it. Um, apologies for the lighting. I'm uh, working long into the night. <laughs> right, so. I've got the, uh, again, apologies for weird lighting, um, but look at this. This is basically the chassis good to go. I've used just a little bit of Lego, which I've painted the gleaming silver there. Um, and it's sitting quite happy on it. Um, confusingly, forward seems to be backwards and backwards seems to be forward, but you know, that's just a, uh, <laughs> something hard to get used to. Oh, look at the way that pours there on the logo. That looks good. Orange doors, off a dress. Sorry, yeah, getting distracted. Um, so yeah, basically the chassis is good, very happy with that. Um, seems clear, the disc seems clear, seems speedy, etc. So all I've got to do is build a big sexy shell around it and we're good to go, we've got our PP3D. And I never thought I'd see the day when that actually finally happened. So uh, yeah, very happy with that. Okay, we're making uh, good progress here. Um, the uh, thing I've had to think about is the fact that the usually with my builds, uh, the batteries just underneath, just leave a gap so you can take the compartment off. On this one, obviously, it's right on top. So uh, I've stuck this part just on the battery thing, and I've got to find out a way so I can still get access to the on-off button and still take this out. So I'm trying to make sure nothing actually sort of gets attached over that seal there, because um, we want to be able to replace the batteries. Um, and I've used this big, thick, tough corrugated card so they can sit on there. Um, yeah, and then we've got some more metal panels there to uh, stick on the side. Right, so, final reveal, PP3D, here it is. Uh, the reason the wheels are orange is because I already ran it a little test drive on that lurid orange arena that I have. So, this bit is already getting a little bit mangled. It's been to and from my house a couple of times. Um, maybe this needs a little bit of improving, but it's so that it can be turned on with the, uh, with the button there. Um, so that's kind of necessary, um, but maybe I could work out a better way of securing it or whatever. Um, but yeah, pleased with the way it's looking so far, um, and yeah, run a little test drive, let's see what happens.
Right, so overall, uh, this guy, I think, I'm really pleased with the way it works. It's really nice and manoeuvrable because those wheels are essentially just the tombstone ones on longer axles. They are just sort of, shoom, you know, like it will spin right around. And it's quite, because they're rounded, not really like the real ones, but, um, but it's like quite manoeuvrable. It can drive over stuff. Um, so that's fun. As you noticed there, I sort of drove out the end of the arena at the one of the test drives there. Um, so the disc did keep falling off in the test drive, but uh, yeah, a bit of glue back on and it's good as new now, so that's good. Uh, the bit that sits on top, as you might again have noticed in the in the montage, I kind of abandoned it because I did one hit straight away and it just, dis well, it pinged up, landed in that, bent in half and just pinged off. So uh, that probably needs a little bit of reviewing, but on the, you know, as a principle, the whole thing, very pleased with it as it works. It's a little bit ropey looking around the edge, but overall, like I say, still pleased. And uh, yeah, put, putting the batteries in, I had to hold this down, so now that's all kind of dented a little bit. But never mind, um, like I say, overall pretty chuffed with this. And yeah, thanks again to Alex for providing the disc there on the bottom. Wouldn't be able to do it without him. Uh, like I say, I've been wanting to do this one for so long because PP3D is one of my favorite robots from the reboot, just completely mental. So I'm glad I finally got to do it. Right, so that's gonna be my last uh, video. Uh, again, the gap won't be as large as it has been before but it's gonna be the last one for a little while again. I hope you like these like recent six robots. I think maybe they were a little bit rushed uh, just because of the time constraints I had of like, I'm using my brother's flat here. And so it's uh, it's been sort of like, he's away for a few days or whatever. So it's just like, ah, cram in there and do it. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping the quality is still up there for you guys. Um, I think video quality maybe isn't as much, uh, but I've got plans uh, for a kind of better temporary arena in a new place and it'll be obviously I can do it more in my own time so I can have a bit more continuity uh, with me not contradicting myself every other <laughs> scene of the video. Uh, so stick around guys, I have plenty more plans for builds um, and yeah as always thanks for watching and cheerio.